Welcome to the Harry Just Rugby Language channel. Today I just wanted to talk about um, the wrap up of this weekend's um, rugby championship. So we had Argentina, Australia, and South Africa, New Zealand. Uh, both of them were fairly highly entertaining games. The Aussies winning by 15 over the Argentines, which I thought was a good game. I would have liked five more points, but that's just me. Um, yeah, so that's what I thought could have happened with the Wallabies. Uh, Argentina just played really, really poorly. I thought they um, weren't passing the ball around as much, and were, but that's because they were limited by the Australians' um, defence of what they could do and what they couldn't do. And it didn't help that six of their players and a couple of their coach, people on their coaching staff got banned for leaving the Queensland bubble. Um, so that didn't help. So Australia won by 15. That was a good win by the Wallabies, which makes it four in a row for them. So, yes. So where to next for the Wallabies? Oh, the Spring Tour. They're playing Japan, England and Wales. Japan in Japan, England in England, and Wales in Wales. So what do I think about their next sort of month of rugby? I think it's going to be good. They're going to be playing the Welsh. Look like they're playing well against the Argentines in the July window. And look like they could play some good rugby. Um... I think the Argentines could pick up their game by then. They got France, Italy, France and Italy, and Ireland in their um, spring tour for the Argentines. So how do I think they're going to match up? I think I'll make another video just referring to the um, spring tour schedules um, closer to time, and I'll predict that then. Um, I hope you have a great day. I uh, hope you're enjoying your long weekend if you're in Australia. The Labor Day long weekend in Australia. So, happy Labor Day for the people in Australia. I'll see you in the next one. Please like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Harry Jez out.